What's up, guitar nerds? It's Spence here. Um, today I'm going to take a quick tour of my guitars and amp setup. Um, just, yeah, because I've had a couple comments on from people who just, you know, want to see my stuff. Uh, this is my Ibanez Acoustic. This thing's pretty old. It still works really nice. Um, it's like an A130 or something, or A03 or something like that. It's kind of old strings. Ooh, nice E tuning. There you go. Um, so that's that. Here's my Ibanez RG with EMG pickups right there. What a beauty. Satin black finish, all that crap. Um, here's my really nice guitar, which I love. This is my LTD ESP. This is a workhouse one, which I use in covers. Um, new heavy gauge strings for that, you know, drop C, drop D tuning and metal that I do. Um, the M80 is really nice. I actually like it a lot better than the Ibanez RG, even though that thing costs more. It's because this thing, it's just really reliable and it's lighter, even though it looks really heavy. And it's just, you know, nice tone and all that crap. Heavy, grittier sound, too. Um, works really good with my Ibanez amp over there, which I'll show you guys later. And this is my pride and joy. This is my Kramer Focus 420S series. Um, this thing is a beast. It is the most reliable thing I've ever had out of all these guitars. You, know, you can throw it, you can smash it, you can get a sledgehammer to it. This thing will still work. This thing is was my very first guitar. Um, I'm actually a bassist, not a guitarist. So I just have all that other crap for show. No, I'm kidding. I actually play them all. But, um, yeah, th this thing is a beast, you know. Just as good as any Fender. A lot cheaper, too. I love it. It's great. Really nice neck. Doesn't fuck up your fingers like most do. You know, it's just a workhouse guitar. Nothing special. It's just really nice and uh, simple. Um, over here, we'll start off with my little Ibanez amp. Little 15 watt thing, which I got with the uh, acoustic guitar. Um, it's nice, you know, for on the go. Obviously, it's not that powerful or anything, but it does its job. Uh, this is one of my, this is one of the really cool amp or cables I have, the amp cables. This is actually a quarter inch mixed with a mic input. So that way I can plug this into an amp such as this one or any of them. And it's really good for on the go for my one of two mics. Um, one's the power pod one, which is that one. That's a nice one. And I don't use that very much because that's expensive. And this is that, you know, star power phonic thing, whatever it is. I don't know. There it is. Um, my mic stand, uh, oh yeah, these all have guitar stands, obviously. Um, my shitty ass subwoofers for any of these. Um, oh, here's my quarter inches. I have one, two, and then threes over there. Uh, and here's my Ibanez amp. Turn it on. This is 65 watts full of badass. Um, thing is, it's reverb is kind of messed up every so often. I mean, I wouldn't advise anyone else to get this amp, just because for the same price, you can probably get, you know, you know, a, a lower frequency or a lower wattage of an Fender, and, but, and it will be better quality, but this thing is just a powerhouse, you know. Loud tone, all that crap. So much stuff you can do, and even though the X mode... All, everyone knows it's Ibanez are all like, oh, X mode is amazing. It's really not that great. I mean, it doesn't do that much. I mean, if you watch my covers, you'll see I tend to take it off, but if one day you want me to show you a demonstration, I will. Uh, my bass amp, this thing, oh, this thing is ridiculously awesome. My Behringer BXL 4, <coughs> not 420, 450. It's 45 watts of awesomeness for a bass. can actually go really loud. Um, and you mess with the tones down there with the <coughs> FBQ equalizer thingy, so that's always handy. Um, obviously, headphone jack, all that. It's just a basic, you know, bass amp, but it's really nice, you know. Nice, you know, just <laughs> nice, I guess. I don't know. I have no more vocabulary. Uh, here, now here's the main thing. This is my Phonic Power Pod, uh, 410. This thing can plug in four mics as well as four quarter inches, which means like this. I have my MP3 cables in, so stuck to that, you know, whirl around. 
There you go. But I can pl basically plug in four guitars or basses and four mics, and it'll sound fine. Like, trust me. Um, you'll have to fiddle with all the reverb and stuff and all these little knobs and buttons and crap, but it'll turn out, you know, you can basically play a band out of this. I mean, it won't be perfect. There'll be a, a lot of um, static and stuff at first, but once you, like, you know, fix all the settings, it'll turn out great. Um, obviously, change over right there. That thing's in the main part of this. So when you're singing, you can, you know, change your voice into something else. You know, make it, you know, echo and crap like that. But this thing was ama is amazing, you know. It can be used as an amp, it can be used as you know, PA system, it can be used for anything basically. You can play it on your freaking TV if you wanted to and like have more speakers if you wanted. Um, my cable, the regular one down there. Uh I think I showed you guys my quarter inches. MP three cable goes up there somewhere. Um, over here is all the miscellaneous stuff, uh, tab sheets, I have shitloads, you know, I, I know most of these songs, not all of them, uh, that's like guitar, bass, and lyrics, by the way, uh, this is my little handy tuner, I like this bad boy, the TU-80, I, I guess everyone has this one, but, um, capo, picks, fat pick, uh, chord card from a beginner set I found somewhere, um, Straps and random crap pulls, all that jazz. Uh, that's it, basically. But that is my guitar setup. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, please comment if you're a guitar geek. <laughs> Explain to me, you know, whether you like it, you don't like it, you think Ibanez is shitty, because, you know, I'm an Ibanez player and stuff. Um, so, yeah, thanks, guys.